Hello, and today we're going to look at how to do a Man Whitney U test in SPSS. So, while chi squared is an effective statistical test for association between nominal variables such as gender against a yes or no question, it's not very suitable for when variables between two independent groups are continuous and not normally distributed, such as the Likert scale 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 on a scale, 1 may be strongly agree and Five may be uh, strongly disagree. Man-Whitney test seeks to observe differences between two discrete groups or populations along such an order or rank scale. So while you use a chi-squared for a yes-no answer, um, you would use a Man-Whitney test when you're looking at a group such as male or female, or group A and group B, against the Likert scale, like say one, one to five. But like chi-squared, there are four different assumptions that must be met in order for it to be valid. So the dependent variable should either be continuous or ordinal, so it should be a Likert scale. The independent variable will consist of only two independent groups that are categorical. So gender, you can only have male or female. In this could also be group A or group B. C, there must be different participants in each group, so there can't be, for example, a female geographer who is also an outdoor education student. And finally, it must be run on not normally distributed data. Now, if you had more than one group, so in fact, that thinks instead of gender is male or female, if you had age and you had a category from 18 to 30, 31 to 50, and then 51 and above, we would not use the Mann-Whitney test against the Likert scale. We would use a Kruskal H. Wallace test instead. A Mann-Whitney test is only when you're looking at uh, A or B or male or female against a Likert scale. So let's get into SPSS and run a Mann-Whitney U test. Okay, so we're in our SPSS file here, and I want to look at the difference between gender and this question here, which was, on a scale of 1 being not an issue to 10 being apocalyptic, how serious do you think that climate change emergency is? So, we have gender, which is a male or female, and we have a Likert scale of 1 to 10. And we're going to run a man Whitney U test to see if there's a difference between males and females. So how does a man Whitney test work then? Well, it runs on the basis of the means. So it will take all the stuff that the males have said, all the females, and will give a value. The closer they are to one, the less agreeable, so though they don't think it is apocalyptic, and the higher they are to ten, then the more likely they are to say that it is apocalyptic. So we need to set our data file ready. So while this is technically ordinal data, for SPSS to run this correctly in this new version, which is 26, we have to change this to scale data. So go ahead and change that. Then I'm going to go to analyze. We're going to go all the way down here to non-parametric tests. And we're going to click independent samples. Leave all that as is. Click fields. You're going to put your gender, or it could be group A, group B, for example. You're going to put that in the groups because you're splitting it by male and female. And then go ahead and find the question you want to look at. So I want to look at this one on a scale of 1 to 10. Pop that across there. And in the new version, that is all you have to do. You then simply click Run. Now SPSS will produce a file. <coughs> It takes a little while while it does its calculations. Here we go. So, as we mentioned in the chi-squared, we should always, always make our null hypothesis before we do the test. So, for example, for this one, I could have said that the, it, says it gives you a null hypothesis here, that the distribution on a scale of 1 to 10 of how serious do you think climate change is, is the same across categories of gender. Now I can hypothesize now, so I can see here that I can reject the null hypothesis. So SPSS is telling me that there is a significance between gender and where they fit on this scale. But I don't know where that is, and that is important, and that's why we now look 
at the means. Now before I look at this, I can hypothesize then that males think it's not much of an issue compared to females. That's what literature would suggest. So we're going to scroll down, we're going to ignore this box for now, other than here, which is the 0.18, so we know that there is a significance. So we can scroll down and we get given a graph. So we can hear, this is the important thing now, is looking at mean rank. So we know that 1 on the scale was not apocalyptic and 10 was apocalyptic. So obviously the higher the score, here 83 compared to 64, well, females think it is more apocalyptic than males do. So, I can categorically say, with statistics though, I can say that females are statistically more likely to believe that climate change emergency is more apocalyptic than males do. And then we would give the mean rank for each of these, and we would show... Have I gone too far? We would show this here as our p value is p.018. Okay, and how we would write that then in our work is that a Man Whitney U test was run to determine if there was a difference in climate emergency score between males and females. Climate emergency score for females and the mean rank was 83.09 was statistically significantly higher than for males, with a mean rank of 64.3. And then we would give our Man-Whitney score, which is here, our test error score, and our p-value. And I'll show you now where to find them. So back in our output file, your mean ranks are displayed here. That's what you would display. Your Man-Whitney U-test score is this one here that you would report that, and you'd also report your standardised test statistic error one here, and your p-value is found here. And that is how you do a Man-Whitney U-test.